determinism, freedom, and approaches to the meaning of it. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm Abigail. I'm Leanne. And today we're going to try to answer the questions of what is free will and indeterminism. Free will is the idea that the will is uncaused. And indeterminism basically states that all events have no cause. And these two things are questions that philosophers have been trying to answer for many centuries. And our documentary today will try to help answer these questions and give us a better understanding of what exactly free will and indeterminism is. Are our actions predetermined or do they derive from free will? Cut. Oh yeah, I need a moment, hold on. really predetermined. I've, I've heard that God knows everything. So if God knows everything, does he not know our future? Therefore, if there's such thing called destiny, and if we're destined to do something, where does free will come into play? It doesn't. Okay. Yes. I agree. So which one? It's both nature and nurture. So it's a combination of things. It has to do with our genetic makeup, our DNA. Uh, they say that people have some tendencies which are inherited. So it's a blend of the two. To a certain extent, we have things about ourselves that may be set, but they're not set in stone. So we also have choices. So within a range, we are able to choose. But then, so, oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. But then, um, if you had to choose one, like which one overrides the other, like determine or like we have the free will or freedom? I think it depends on the person. For example, a person who comes up in a, a very uh, codependent family may not have a lot of free choice and therefore may make choices based on the predisposition of the family rather than through free, free will. Someone on the other hand who has a had a lifetime of developing their ability to make choices, I imagine would choose more freely. That's an old, old question. It's not something people really ask anymore, to tell you the truth. Uh, our actions are clearly not predetermined. You're, you're free to do what you want. There have been uh, arguments about genetics, that we're genetically predisposed to do certain things, and it's genetics versus your upbringing. Is it your family situation uh, that makes you what you are, or is it your genetics, or is it some combination of your family upbringing, your genetics, and your free will? So obviously there are influences on us, but ultimately we make decisions. Okay. Uh, I think it's a combination of things. Uh, uh, there are some, uh, okay, in your genetic code, according to the naturalism, Okay, because you are talking about predeterminism and, and free will. Uh, the predeterminism presuppose that your actions are predetermined for something. Uh, you talk about your genes, that means your genetic uh, uh, code, or, okay? That means in certain moment, in certain way, mm -hmm. okay? But in the other side, you can say, well, the free will, we have the decision to do that. And that is true, because it doesn't matter if your genetic code gives you a predisposition to act in some way and to react in a certain way, because you are living in a society, you combine both. Okay. And at a certain moment, you make a decision, a free decision to act, mm -hmm. because you know the consequence of this action. Okay. Okay? And you, you, you say, well, I am going to pay the price, or the price I am going to pay, is lower than what I am going to get. 
and you make the decision. Okay. Okay. That because that doesn't matter what is the the predisposition you have, because it's not something you are programmed exactly exactly to answer everything. Because you see, you have predeterminism, but it's nationalism, in, but the social too, uh, the social condition. Doesn't matter what you have in your code, you learn and you answer in the environment in different ways. Okay. So, um, so you said we're programmed, right? Yes. So who programs us? Uh, well, the, your genetic code okay. is coming from nature. Some people say, okay, because the creator of everything is the designer, the designer is God. But uh, because the problem now is not about who designed it. The problem is your behavior is predetermined okay. by something else. Okay. That's the... the, 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 the I think every individual is an agent, therefore, free will is not limited. What's an agent? An agent is a person who is free to act and to do whatever he or she pleases. And Free will is limited to a point perhaps, as long as it doesn't interfere with someone else's life. Okay, okay so it's restricted by people. It's restricted by people for people. For people. Remember, the common good. That's what you're saying. Um, so you can just pause it. Let it bump,